What's up, real world? Twisted luck. Hope everybody's good. Today is Friday, October, I believe, 22nd, 2021, if anybody's keeping track. Um, so I just wanted to go over something that... Uh, so one of the things, there's a lot of things, as you know, I am not pro-police and I am not anti-police. I am nomad right down the middle, right? Got to do the right things, got to be the right, be the right type of people have to be cops. There's a lot of bad cops and there's a lot of good cops. I spent lots of time as a good cop and I saw lots of bad cops. So one of the things, there's a lot of things I don't like and um, a lot of things I don't like that go on within law enforcement agencies and one of them is one way to look at it is the push for the violation of rights so you know where I actually a lot of people don't know that if you're just minding your own business you're not doing anything wrong and the police stop to talk to you for one you have no obligation to stop and talk and two you have no obligation to provide an ID and a lot of cops will say We'll drive around and make stops, especially at night. Um, stop out with people. Talk to them. See what they're doing. You know, hey, how you doing? You know, whatever. And they'll try to make small talk and whatever. And then, hey, you got any, got any ID on you? And honestly, most times, this goes unquestioned. They just give the ID. And, oh boy, I always hated this. I always hated this. And there's actually a push within agencies to get more of these type of things because what they want is what the agency calls FI cards, field interview cards. So what they want you to do, they want you out there in whatever areas, um, stopping people, just stopping people, talking to them. Take their picture if you can, get their ID, and then you're gonna document it. This is something that's that they're gonna turn in and it's gonna go on file that you encountered this person at this time, at this location, uh, maybe they were with this person, whatever, what, what they were wearing, description of them, full description, like clothing, everything. Um, and that goes into a database. So let's say they stop you tonight, right? And then tomorrow morning, a burglary is reported in that general area. What they're going to do, they're going to look through any FI cards, that were done in that area. And they're gonna say, oh, well, this guy was stopped out there, or this girl was stopped out there, wandering around, I wonder. So, also what the, and they'll look into your history and see if you've got a history of anything. Not that they'll eliminate you if you've got no history. You're still top of the list because you're in that area. And to a lot of cops, and it's unfortunate, not all, but to a lot of cops, you're already dirty. Oh, what business do they have being out? You know, for one, none of your business why they're out there. If they're not breaking the law, none of your business. You have no authority. The police have no authority over any person until they've broken a law. Other than that, they are just a regular person. Or until then, they are equal to you. They just have a different name tag. Name tag from a different business. They work at a different business for a different corporation. And... Oh man, I just made a bad decision. School bus, damn it. Um, so also, I mentioned they'll take pictures of you if, if they can. So the pictures are voluntary, right? Mind if I take a picture of you? And this is not every agency, I'm sure, but most agencies. And most people say yes. and uh, But a lot of people say no and you have to just do it. Some cops will still do it anyway. Some cops just won't ask. They'll just do it or they'll make it sound like it's mandatory and you have to do it. Um, but so these pictures, let's say the person reporting the burglary saw somebody running away. What they're going to do is make a photo lineup. And I wish you could see what I, look at this. Ah, uh, it's too late. So I don't know. We're on like a residential street right now, school bus and there's a car passing all the traffic, including the school bus. Hopefully he does not crash into a person. Um, I say every, almost every video I make, Florida driving is unbelievable. You've been warned. So they're gonna make a photo lineup. They're gonna show it to this person. Anybody, anybody look familiar in this photo lineup? 
sometimes, and I have seen this happen, it's super illegal, but I've seen it happen. There'll be six pictures on the photo lineup and the cop will be holding them be like, you see anybody that looks familiar? Anybody in here that looks familiar as they're tapping on number three, trying to indicate that that cop feels like it is that person. But if the witness IDs that person, it's a sealed deal. Sealed deal, they're gonna issue a warrant um, based on the witness ID. And do you know how many false arrests have been made on bad witness ID? This is why I've always hated doing photo lineups myself. They always make me nervous, right? Every time they make me super nervous, anytime I've had to do them, because I'm like, oh God, I'm so nervous, I'm gonna pick the wrong one, you know? And But if, if it comes up and I'm just not 100%, I'll say I'm not, I can't say I'm not 100%. Anybody look familiar and they'll push the issue. No, no, I, I don't want to say. But honestly, if you've gotten a good look, every time as nervous as I've been, uh, even as a cop, always nervous to do this damn thing. Um, as nervous as I've been, as soon as I look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, there he is right there. That's him. You sure? Yep. Looked him right in the eyes. So we're good. But so if they've ever done a field interview card on you, you have most likely appeared in a photo lineup. And when I was a teenager, I never did anything wrong. Well, I can't say nothing wrong, but I was a generally good kid, right? Regular mischief, but nothing bad, right? And I fit the description. All my life, I fit the description. I got harassed by police nonstop. I couldn't go anywhere. And they did these FI cards on me all the time. Pissed my mom off. My mom, you know, she called up there before. You know, why are you always taking pictures of it? He's doing nothing wrong. You know, and I generally, I literally was doing nothing wrong. But when you fit the description, there's a lot of cops that that just means you're dirty. They're never going to admit it, especially in these times. But they're convinced themselves that you're dirty. You're guilty. You're dirty. And there's a lot of people that just see everybody as a shithead. If you're not a cop, don't have a badge on your shithead. And, and that's a fact. Some people don't like uh, people talking of police like this but it is a fact, promise you it's a fact. I'm unbiased right down the middle. Even in a cop, you know, people, as I was a cop, people would be like, oh, I hate cops. And other cops would point to me and be like, oh, not as much as he does, he he hates cops. And be like, what? I'm like, yeah, I hate cops. Generally speaking, I hate cops. They're like, you are a cop, right? What, what's that got to do with anything? Generally speaking, I don't like cops, right? And it's because of the way I was treated. And then as a cop, the way I saw many cops treat other people. And I was, I don't know how to say it. I had involvement in um, getting rid of dirty cops. I'll say that. Uh, and uh, stopping cops from violating rights and things like that. Because I didn't go on that to, uh, I went in that to do the opposite of what was done to me. That's literally what a big push for me to do it was. Um, but when they stop and talk to you, you don't have to talk. You don't have to say a word. You don't have to stop unless you're suspected of a crime. If you're suspected of a crime that you have committed, or you're about to commit a crime, then yes, they do have obligation. Also don't pay attention. To a lot of these videos, if you're stopped for a traffic stop, a, a, you know, a legal traffic stop, you've committed a traffic infraction. They pull you over and you're sitting in the car saying, I don't have to give me an idea. I didn't, I didn't get a, commit a crime. Or they'll say, I didn't do a crime. You know, I didn't commit a law. They'll say all sorts of ridiculous things, right? And they think they're they're making this great video. And they're like, yeah, you do. You have to give me your license. They're like, no, I'm going to break the window. No, you're not. I'm going to sue you. And then they break the window. And they're like, can you believe this cop? Yes. When they pull you over for a legal reason, you do have to provide your identification, right? And, and your registration, your proof of insurance, and you get tickets for it which I don't agree with because as soon as they run your tag, they get your insurance information, all the registration information. I would even ask for that shit too. And I don't even know why. I never knew why because I don't need it. It's right here on the computer. Basically, you know, sometimes they'll do it if they don't want to, if you're going hundred miles an hour in a 40 mile an hour zone and they're like, oh, I've got to write them something, but I don't write them, write them this big ticket. Maybe he won't have his registration because all you got to do is go down and prove you had your registration. Then either it costs nothing or it costs like five bucks, seven bucks, 10 bucks, whatever it is. But um, anyway, um, so a lot of these stops too are paid for by businesses. Businesses donate money essentially to get extra protection and most, if not all agencies, and I imagine it's all agencies. So 
you'll see a lot of uh, crime suppression teams or uh, special response teams or whatever that are fully or partially funded by business districts, essentially for extra protection. They want their businesses protected at night. They don't want to be burglarized and things like that. So I also never liked that because the people of a community have regular police protection, right? And these businesses have the police protection plus the extra. And there, there always is a push, right? And they do get breaks and things like that. They're not supposed to, and it's said that they don't, but they do, and I've seen it. You know, hey, go down there. It's this business. It's this business that called about that. Make sure you go down there right away and take care of that. Do whatever they want. They, you know, they a lot of money. Those three cars we got, where do you think those came from them? So things like that do happen. But, uh, and I don't like it. There's a lot of things I don't like. A lot of things I don't like. Um, and there needs to be a whole reworking. But that's one of the biggest ones. Uh, one of many biggest ones that I don't like. And the push. The push to essentially violate rights because they say, hey, and they will come down. Hey, you don't have any FI cards this week. Where are they? You know, you got to be, and it's, and I would get that because I don't want, I'm not going to go out and just randomly violate people's rights. If they're not doing anything wrong, you think they went for a walk and they're like, I'd like to talk to some police tonight. No, everybody goes out with the hopes that they're not going to talk to any damn police tonight. That's everybody's hope every single day. Nobody's like, oh, hey, look, the police are stopping me. Good, good to see you. I was hoping to talk to you. No, that doesn't happen. And people don't like it. And that's why people get bad impressions of the police. That's one of many reasons they get bad impressions, because they can't go, they feel like they can't go do anything without getting harassed by the police. And I fully understand, because I spent years experiencing the same thing. Even as a cop, I'd get pulled over and stuff because I fit the description you know, they'd be a jerk to me, then they see the badge, and then all of a sudden they're cool, and that would annoy me too. I'd be like, no, 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 no. Keep treating me the way you were treating me, because you're not, we're not friends, and obviously that was the real you a minute ago, right? Don't, special treatment. I don't like the, the blue line, the thin blue line. I never liked that. Hated it. I never wore it, never had it, never did anything. I always cringe when I saw other cops with it, and some of them, you know, it's usually the cops with all the battle rattle too, and they got a thin blue line on everything. Some people like the Timbal line, that's your thing, whatever. It's just not my thing. I, I don't like it. I don't like what it represents. Not, I, I guess I don't like the general perception of it, right? Because the general perception of it, and and this is most cops' perception of it too, thin blue line, we stand together, right? We have each other's backs. And I have seen that play out, and I've even heard people say, hey, thin blue line, man. No, 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 no. This should not apply when you're breaking the law and doing illegal shit and violating people's rights. I'm going to have your back and lie for you? Nope, that's not going to happen. So I personally do not like the thin blue line. I don't back the blue, generally. I, I, I can't just come out and say, I back the police. I back any good cop. I back any good person, right? But there's bad cops. So I can't generally say, I love cops, because that's a lie. And there are bad cops. You have to treat case by case. So I know there are a lot of people, you know, especially came into the whole Patriot thing that, you know, back to blue, back to blue, and that's great. Hey, people want to back to blue, whatever. I know too much and I've seen too much. And at the same time, there are good ones. There are good ones, but those good ones need to speak up. Anyway, I'm going to get, I'm getting off track a little bit here, but yeah, a little thing you didn't know. If they're taking pictures of you, you've popped up in a photo lineup, most likely, and you don't have to give your ID unless, you know, these reasons we've discussed and there's a push there is the cops get pushed go out there and get fi cards you don't have fi cards why why don't you have you, this cop has you know 50 fi cards just in two days you have none why because that cop is that doesn't care what he does to get it i do and um that's the difference essentially anyway short video heading out uh for the friday event today see how many angries we can get hopefully uh last week was a good week for it so we'll see what we can do today thanks for being here twist like Th truth but, 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 like, I haven't said that a billion times. I can't spit that out. Come on. I'll see you soon.